Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's Chris. In today's video, I'm going to open this box and review the contents inside. So I recently got this question right here, and the answer to that is yes, I will do a review on a pink pineapple. Let's go ahead and open the package. Okay, so this is from Fresh Del Monte, and the name of the product is called Pink Glow. Now, from what I've learned, there's no other product like this in the world. This is the only company that sells the pink pineapple, and it's harvested right out of uh, Costa Rica. It smells really good. Wow. It smells super good. It almost smells like candy. Ta-da! This is it. Certified rare delicacy from the tropics. So what I've read is they cut the crowns off so they can go ahead and replant uh, the new one. And they've been working on this for like years, like over a decade to get the, the right consistency. And um, we're gonna do a taste test of it and I'm also going to come up with a little recipe here so we can uh, try it out in its full capacity. So this is it right here. Time to cut this thing open, straight down the middle. Pink pineapple. Oh my God, that looks so good and it smells so good too. It's definitely pink, as you can see, and I have to come up with a recipe now. I think I wanna taste it just like this and then we'll make some, we'll make some pizza and we'll put some pineapple on pizza. Cooking with the vegan zombie. Now I know half the people out there love pineapple on pizza and think it belongs there, and the other half don't. I'm one of those people that, hey, if you like something on pizza, put it on there. I don't wanna waste any of this. It's like a watermelon pineapple. <laughs> it looks like a watermelon. So it's pink because it says uh, it has lycopene in it. Lycopene makes it, uh, gives it the reddish pinkish color. Let's try this out. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, it is, it's really good. And it, it almost smells a little bit like candy. Something that tastes like candy, but is also good for me. Let's see if uh, Rachel thinks the same thing. Rachel! Oh, there you are. Hi. Hey, I have some uh, something for you to try. It's pink. What's it look like, watermelon? Kind of. Oh my God, really good. Yeah, it <laughs> Holy is. crap. I can see why it's so expensive. The only place you can buy it in the world is from this company. They make it out of Costa Rica and you can't get it anywhere else. Pink pineapple, how about some pizza? Yeah, can I eat that one too? Go for it, yeah. <laughs> we still have some more here. I don't know, maybe scoop this out and put some rice in it and uh, have like a pineapple bowl with pink pineapple. It's almost like pink lemonade pineapple. I can't tell if it's just because it's pink, so it's like yeah. tricking my mind and thinking it tastes like pink lemonade, but it's really good. It definitely has a little bit of a different taste and Those it smells, it smells good. It smells it's like- It's definitely sweeter. So sometimes pineapple has that like bitter tang to it, but yeah. this is like a lot sweeter. It's so good. All right, you guys know the drill. I make pizza on this channel so much. You probably already know what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna put some cornmeal down. I got some dough that I pre-made. If you guys want my dough recipe, it is out there in my uh, different pizza videos. And once you roll it out, we're just gonna put it right there on the sheet. Yeah, that should do. And we have some just store-bought um, sauce. I gotta say this whole kitchen smells like pineapple right now. Okay, and I'm gonna take the remaining half of what I didn't eat right here, and I'm gonna chop that up in a small, small dice. I like my pizza toppings in a small dice. You might want like a bigger medium or large dice. I'm gonna try to do this so I'm not wasting any. So I'm trying to shave the outer layer off as careful as I can. So now we got the pizza crust ready to go. I have the pineapple chopped to a small dice. And the cheese I'm gonna use today is the Miyoko's mozzarella. And again, a little tip on the Miyoko's cheese. Uh, sometimes it comes a little bit soft. Uh, even when it's in the refrigerator. So what I like to do is, um, before I'm gonna use it, I'll put it in the freezer for maybe 20 or 30 minutes. You don't want it to get completely solid frozen, but if you freeze it a little bit, you can actually shred it. And that's what I'm gonna do here. And melts really well. 
and it shreds if you do that little technique that I just told you about. I like to mix everything together first. It's evenly distributed and then you, you kind of put it on the pizza after. Wish I had maybe some black olives, but I don't. Now, I also have this vegan Parmesan that I made myself out of uh, nutritional yeast and a few different uh, nuts and seasoning. And it's really good. I'm just going to put that on there as well. And now I'm going to pop it in the oven 450 degrees and I'll, I'll just kind of keep an eye on it 10, 12, 15 minutes, somewhere on there. And we will be ready to go. So there it is in the oven it goes. All right, there it is. This is probably the most expensive pizza that I've personally made, considering that half of this pineapple would be about 25 bucks. And then the cheese, another $8, and then the crust and sauce, so. And I would also say that this is by far the most expensive and rare fruit that I've ever tasted. So I'm super thankful that I was able to taste something this rare. All right, so there it is, let's try Pineapple pizza, vegan style. Making a mess over here. Two, two thumbs up. Yeah, that's really good. Well, that concludes the video. This is my honest review of the uh, Pink Glow Pineapple. And I just wanna say that I've added a new online merch store so you can buy these uh, hoodies and shirts and aprons or mugs or whatever you're looking for and we don't have to do a pre-order anymore you can just go on the site and check it out and you know get it and right now uh, I don't know how many days are gonna be left when I post this video but there is 15% off everything in the store there's a lot of cool things on there whether it be for yourself or a gift for somebody else and that's it for this video. If you liked it, please thumbs up it, share it, subscribe, survive, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Pineapple pizza. Mm-hmm.